Judaism is very much against cremation. Now, obviously, when people were cremated in the Holocaust and, and, or they died in fires, obviously God does not hold that against them and they will certainly have a share in the world to come as holy and great, great people. But in terms of voluntary cremation, uh, we very, very much uh, discourage it. And I often tell people that even if they promise their parents, they promise their parents that they would cremate a parent, if they have the ability to change their mind and, and do a burial, do it. Because I can tell you, the soul of your parent who wanted the cremation is going to be very, very happy that the body was not cremated. You're not hurting your parents. You're doing them the greatest favor by ignoring their request. Now, the reason why Judaism is against cremation, well, number one, is a verse in the Bible itself. Uh, Adam was made from the dust of the earth. Adam was made from the dirt. And the Torah describes burial, afar ata, you are dirt, el afar tashuv, your body should decompose naturally and go back into the dirt. Uh, when you burn, what you're doing is you're taking away the natural process in which the return of the body, we have the body and the soul, the soul goes up to God and the body disintegrates into the earth. That's the symmetry. The soul came from God's breath, it returns to God. The body came from the dirt, it returns to the dirt. It has to go back the way it came. And when you burn the body, you are changing that process. More fundamentally, we do believe, as I mentioned a, moment, a few moments ago, we believe in resurrection of the dead, that bodies are going to be resurrected. Now, it's true that by the time that's going to happen, most bodies will have decomposed. But at least when I bury the body intact, I am affirming my belief that this body is going to be resurrected. When I destroy the body intentionally, I am making a statement, I don't believe the body is going to be resurrected. So that's a very serious point, that cremation in many ways is a denial of the ultimate blessing at the end of time, and that is resurrection of the physical uh, death. So because of this, uh, Judaism, as I say, is very much against uh, cremation. Now again, as I say, if somebody was a victim of a fire or the Holocaust, of course, God is going to resurrect him. And in many, many cases, even if a person decided on cremation, but it was because of ignorance or not knowing the Jewish tradition, perhaps there are exonerating, mitigating factors once you talk to a rabbi. Uh, but uh, cremation is highly, highly, highly discouraged. Now, admittedly, there's some practical problems. It happens to be that cremation is much, much cheaper than burial. And I hate to say it, but it happens to be that the money is playing a factor in people choosing to cremate. That's very unfortunate. Uh, the solution to that has to be that we frankly have to make the cost of funerals cheaper uh, by providing a tzedakah and various other subsidies. Uh, because it is very, very sad that cremation has greatly increased in the Jewish community and we would hope to, uh, to lower that. If you liked that video, hit the subscribe button and notification bell below for hours of the best Jewish content online.